Well, good morning, folks. Good morning. I'll say good morning because it's not a good morning. It's chilly and it's wet. Um, but anyway, we're in the shed, so it can't be too bad. Okay. Back home again for this one. Um, thank you for Tony for letting us look around his shed last time. His, his man cave, that was just really nice. I was, I was really quite envious. Quite envious. Not very envious, just quite envious. So, cheers Tony. Give your phone out of your pocket. In there. Uh, the last video I said I was going to fit the um, 7 inch uh, LED headlight to the Harley. I'm not going to do that um, because I've heard all these nightmare stories about them being too hot and so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait, wait, wait for that. Uh, get some more advice about that before I put it on the bike. This video is for the beginners to the camping. I've done this video before, but I've got to do it again after watching a few videos where uh, people have gone on there, they've spent 50 quid on something and said, you won't get it any cheaper than that. Well, you do. They're talking out of their ears. I'll be polite. They're nice people. But don't go on here saying you won't get it cheaper than that. But, oh no, you won't get it cheaper than that for the quality. Well, heads up guys, you can, you do, and you will. Wrote a list. Wrote a list. Um, Alright, first of all, uh, I'll just go through the list. Right? You can you can follow follow as I go, put it that way. Alright. Dry bags. Alright, before I start, this is aimed at us people who go away camping on motorbikes. Whether it's a tourer, whether it's a sports bike, a, a, a all-terrain DR600 or whatever, a Triumph thingy, you know, the Tiger thing. Whatever, whatever you go away on, on the bike, you're going to have to pack it. So, you'll need either bungees or straps. It's entirely up to you. For those that don't know, bungees look like that. They've got hooks on the end and they're elastic, of course. That's a bungee. Straps look like this. Let me just unwrap this for you. Right. Straps look like this. And on one end, there's that kind of behaviour. The, um, the the gripper. See the gripper? That's what grips the, the strap. And what you do is you wrap it around your, whatever you're taking, whatever you're doing. You put that end through there. It worked so well in rehearsal. You put that in through there, and that's it. And that can't, it's very strong. There's pros and cons with both, but try them both. I've got mates that only use these. They only use these. I've got mates that won't use these. It's entirely up to you. You're the one packing it. You're the one taking it. You're the one that's got to pick it up if it falls off. You're the one they'll claim against if it bumps into a car on the road. So it's up to you. Trial and error. Let's hope not too much error. Right. Dry bags. This is a dry bag. It's it's a bag, sort of rubberized. You get them in all kind of shapes, colours, sizes. Um, they they seal at the end like that. You, you, you double them over, and then you pull one end over like that, one end over like that, and then that 
clips into there and that's it that's it that's your there's no zips there's nothing else holding it together that's it Oops, sorry itchy wheel right you don't have to spend a fortune on a dry bag you really don't that one cost me a tenner it was ten pounds and it's huge and it keeps things it's a dry bag it keeps things dry they're self-explanatory right I'll take that off my list because again it was it's all you've got to spend at least 50 pounds on one of these otherwise it will be rubbish bullshit right I'll get that out of the way now I'm, I'm gonna whiz through these I'm just gonna whiz through them. okay so stay with me stay with me I'm gonna just whiz through them if you need to go back push there twice or there twice and it goes backwards or forwards or whichever way yeah next your tent I'm not gonna get the tent out you know what a tent looks like it's like a canvas thing or a nylon thing it's got poles and you've got a zippity thing at one end and you go in it you put all your stuff in it that's your camping space if you're going solo on your bike and you've got all your bike gear on you you know you're taking on your journey and for your for your trip away for the weekend you're going to need a three-man tent don't muck about with a two-man tent don't muck about with a single-man tent get a three-man tent they're not that big they really really ain't a three-man tent does me and my gear and I'm not a big bloke um, but don't muck about just get a three man tent and don't listen to all these people that say you've got to buy this you've got to buy that if you're starting out you don't want to spend a lot of money you can get a three man tent that's reasonable on Amazon that's honestly it's a reasonable tent it's not a Tesco's it's not a Halford's job it's a reasonable tent on Amazon a three man tent for 30 quid and I'm telling you if you get there and it's it's a horrible weekend and you don't like it you're never going again you've only lost 30 quid and you could sell that tent for 30 quid so don't spend a lot of money on a tent if you're just starting out um, there's really no need there really ain't I, it, once you enjoy what you're doing and you, you like what you're doing all these things are going to show you they'll still be good I've had these things for years and I've che I checked last night I went through this list last night on Amazon I only used Amazon last night and these are the prices I got on Amazon for the equivalent stuff to what I'm using because they still sell it I sound like I'm ranting don't I oh right next <laughs> a camping chair we all know what a camping chair is they, they fold out and, and all that I, I won't get them the, the one I had was was bloody huge anyway camping chair look at this look at that it's, oh I've done it already it's the size of a shoebox it's actually half the size of a shoebox that's what it is um, I'll, get, I'll get the frame out I'll show you the frame this chair You know, you get on the videos and it's, oh, they cost fifty pounds and this, that, and the other. No, but it even almost assembles itself. All joined in like that. Look at that. How easy! If, if a confirmed idiot like me can do it, you can do it. And that's it. That's the chair. I don't know if you can really see it, but that's the frame of the chair. And that's where it sits on the floor, and you know, that's your back bit. This is your seat bit. I won't put it all together. You don't you don't need to, you know what a chair looks like. I'm not insulting you. That now I took that away with me um, last not last Saturday, you said it before. Went down to Cornwall for a night, uh, took that chair to try it out. Should have done a video but didn't. A mate of mine said it looks flimsy. 
Well, I'm 14 stone. And I said, well, I've sat in it, and it seems all right. And he went, well, I better not sit in it, because I'll break it. I said, if you break it, I've only lost a tenner. I was prepared to gamble that. So I said, how much do you weigh? He went, just over 16 stone. I said, go on then, have a go. And he sat in the chair and he said, it's the most comfortable chair he sat in for camping. There you go. No, oh, it's tenner, 10 pounds on Amazon. I feel like I'm, I should be on, I should be paid by Amazon today because that was all I, I did my research. I was so annoyed last night. I, I sat down, I thought, right, I'll just use Amazon. I'll make it quick, I'll make it easy. Just use Amazon. That was a tenner on Amazon. It was a tenner when I bought it, it's still a tenner. If you don't want to buy a chair, don't buy a bloody chair. Sit on the floor. God's earth comfortable enough. If you're camping on it, it must be comfortable. You're not, you're not camping on the side of a cliff face with a motorbike. So don't spend a lot of money. Just get that. Ten pounds for a chair. And honestly, it's the same chair as the one he was showing us. Apart from the colour. Right. The next one. My wife bought me this as a present, birthday present. It's one of those. And that's what it looks like. I'm not going to get it out and show you. You've seen it on my previous video, but that's what it looks like. I will get it, I will get it. This, the one that, that they, I've seen on some videos, horrendous amount of money. For a poxy table. No. 15 quid, this was. Right. And what happens is, I won't get it all out. You've got two poles there, and then two poles go all the way through. These all join up and right, form that top. Okay? And these are the these are the legs. There you go. So that's one of the legs. Obviously that, that's folded flat, you know, like that, and that's my other. Easy peasy. No frame, no mucking about. It's together in about, I don't know, a minute. Depends how good you are threadling that hole through, that, them things through the holes. But yeah, about a minute, and it's, I can honestly say, one of the best things in my camping equipment is that because it keeps all the cooking gear off the floor it keeps all the, uh, the cups off the floor it keeps your food off the floor and it provides you with a flat surface to do your cooking and to do your other stuff on if you're preparing um, any food um, it provides a, a flat surface for that so yeah it's a good idea right but only £15. Don't spend a lot of money on these things. Cookers. Camping cookers. I've got, I've got, um, some previous videos. I'm not getting it all out. Don't need to get it out. Don't need to show you. Um, just the normal, turn the gas on and pff, the way the gas goes. Normal cylinder and all that. Cheap. Don't be fooled into buying all these things these gadgety type things that they say is the best thing, the lightest thing and all that. Don't do that. Just look at it, see what it does. If it looks right, have it, but don't spend a lot of money on it. My one was, well no, you, you can pick them up. The ones that you pick up with the, the canister or the things, are, you know, between 15 and 20 quid, you can buy a cooker. And I've had the same, I bought a, a canister that was a, a fair size and um, it, it's lasted me a couple of years, one canister. And it has been used, trust me. Uh, but 
don't spend a lot of money don't be fooled by all the gimmicks and the gizmos don't do it when they've got one of these clicker starters on them well they're all right but you don't need it and, and that thing that thing's gonna break anyway don't bother about it don't worry about it don't think of the gimmicks the pots and pans Ikea do good pots Ikea do the, the kiddies play set is stainless steel it's really cheap and it's ideal for camping because it's small it's ideal for what we use um, another another um, another idea for pots if you like is um, is what I started off using and these little oven trays little oven trays out of anywhere they're cheap little oven trays like that you'll get your dinner in that and once you've cooked your dinner in that you can eat it out of that so you don't need a plate and I don't use this anymore so I've got some other stuff I bought a bigger pot so I don't need this little one because I'm a greedy sod it's cheap don't spend a lot of money <laughs> you can use that use that that pan you can use that for boiling water you can use it for your food you can use it for everything it's your boiling water it's your food it's your plate it's your it's, you know it goes on anyway as far as cooking um stuff goes if you don't want to buy a, a gas thing and you want more i don't know other types of fuel um these they're called transiers um they come in this lid i'll show you what that lid does right what it does is um, this one's not been used for a while but you put methylated spirits in there and see the little holes well the methylated spirits is drawn up through the holes by air and all this other stuff um, you like that anyway and that, that produces a good flame they're really good they're really good I think you can buy these for about two quid honestly too good I wrote it down I wrote it down uh, where did I write it down? Where did I write it down? Where did I write it down? Da 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 da. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. It was two quid. It was two quid. It was two quid. Often of, you can't get better than that. Look at that. Look. And this lid thing. What it's meant to do? It's meant to control your control the flame. So that's over. That's off. That's full on, and that's half on. Yeah, you get the gist. Um, <laughs> whether that works I don't know I'll just put something on the flame when it starts boiling it's kind of you know, you know what I'm saying I'm not talking to you like an idiot I'm saving you money don't listen to all those people that say you won't get better than this for the money because you will next I'm on the right roll here um, <laughs> where's the list <laughs> Head torch. It's a torch that fits on your head. I broke mine. I broke it. Um, it <laughs> I didn't intentionally break it. I, I, uh, I broke that bit there. But I've undone it all now. I've undone it all now. But let me take me right. Give me a second. Give me a second. Talk amongst yourself. Say hello. Oh, hello, Toots. How you doing? Hope all's well. Say hello to um, Vito. Oh, he's okay. Thanks for the help you have down uh, the aerial thingies on the bike. I still don't know what I'm going to do with it, but yeah. Anyway, right, here we go. Um, it's a torch. And it fits on your head. It's up, upside down. Yeah. Torch and it fits on your head. Alright, and that, that's it. That's what a head torch is. When you roll up somewhere late at the night or it's dark and whatever, um, you'll need this to set your camp up because you don't want to leave your headlight on on your bike or car if you're going in a car. Anyway, Oh yeah, you won't get anyone better than this one, blah, 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 because once it stops shining a torch and doing that, 
um, it flashes and it does SOS and all this old cobblers. Do me a favour. Just a torch, head torch. Head torch, light torch, two pound. You can get a torch for two pound. You can go down Asda in their camping outdoor season. You can buy torches and lanterns for one pound. One pound. Don't spend a lot of money. And don't listen to them when they say you won't get better than this. Because you will. I'm rocking through here now. Oh, this is this is one of my pet ones as well. Water carriers. Oh, hold on, it's I'm thirsty. When people describe to you, they've got this expandable water carrier. They've got um, this this bag thing that they go and fill up, and they do all this stuff with this water carrier, and it's it folds down to this, that, and the other. Don't bother. Don't bother. Go down to um, go down a supermarket. You can buy a bottle of their own um, filtered fresh water from the mountains of somewhere for about 50p and it, I think you can get two litres two litres of that silly pure water for 50p why do you need to buy a big expandable lardar to go and fill it up and then cart it back you get two litres of water strap it to your bike take it with you and the bonus is that on the way you've got something to drink pull over you've got something to drink and you keep going don't bother with the water carriers. You don't need it. You don't. You don't have to buy one. Um, what I do is when I've, I I actually bin mine after the last one. I lost the cap, I think. But I thought I don't mind. I go and buy another one, 50p. And when you're out camping, wherever you are, if you've gone on a motorbike, you're near a road, and you're near civilization. So go and buy another one. 50p. But that's all I used. Uh, and if and if I was away for two or three days, if I emptied that container, that bottle of water, if I used it all for cooking or tea or whatever, I'd go and fill that up and then bring that back. And then on the way home, if I still had any in it, I had a drink on the way home. You've got to think about these things. Don't waste money. Especially if you're starting out, which is what this, this video is, is aimed at. It's aimed at people who are starting out. Um, all right, power. I ain't got my. I ain't got mine with me. I think I'll do that in a day. But the power packs are charging your your phone and, and all that. You they, they sell these power packs and they charge charge more of charging my phone to full four times. It it also has got a little torch on it and it charges a, a tablet and oh it's it's a so many thousand milliwatts it's and whatever. It's good. It was ten pound. It was ten pound. I've heard all these people on YouTube and they're going, "Oh, this one's uh, 25 30 pounds," and it does da 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 da. It does the same as mine, mate. But it, I've got mine for ten pound, and it does the same as mine. Don't go for the name. Don't because it's got flashy orange and yellow cover on it. Don't do that. Mine costs ten pound on Amazon. Shop around. Army surplus stuff's good. Some, some of the army surplus stuff is not cheap, but it is good. Army stuff is good in general. Um, if you're going in when it's cold, get a, get yourself an army pair of softies. Uh, soft, I'll leave you to Google it. Army softies, they're really good. British army softies. I swear by them. Bloody things. Um, last one. Last one, then that'll be it for the... the, the uh, the whippersnappers, the beginners, the starter outers, the kids on the block. Last thing, sleep mat and your sleep bag. It's entirely up to you. Whatever you want to sleep on, buy it. Because we all sleep differently. We all have a different way of sleeping. You, know, you, you might sleep on your side, I might sleep on my back, I might sleep on my head. You know, we've all got different ways of doing it. Don't be fooled into going, oh, this, this inflating mattress inflates up to this big and it takes you, da da da, and you can laugh at half. 
don't listen to it. it it really is a matter of going down the shop talking to the guy and telling him how you sleep because it's important if you don't sleep right you're not going to wake happy and if you don't wake happy you're going to be miserable for most of the day trust me been there threw the t-shirt away um, <laughs> But one of these guys said, oh, it inflates up to six millimetres. Well, six millimetres is that. It's not very big. But six millimetres, how big is your mattress in your bed? It's that. Now, so six millimetres is only that. Six millimetres is two, two and a bit inches. It's not very big. Um, so you, you, at one stage, will be touching the ground with one part of your or another of your body, depending on how you sleep. Um, I personally use a cot bed, which is a material bed with legs on it, and I prefer that. Um, it's, it's great for the winter, and in the summer I use an inflatable mattress, um, <laughs> which is good as well. So it really is all sorts of courses. Same as sleeping bags. Don't be fooled into getting one of these super four season blah blah blahs. You're on a motorbike. The chances of you going away four seasons in the year is remote at the best of times. So get a three season one and take a blanket with you. If you're cold, you've got a blanket. That's what I do and it works for me. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. You can um, a sleeping bag, 15 quid, even cheaper somewhere. I suppose Argos do, well, I'm advertising Argos now. I suppose that, you know, wherever you go, there, there's a load of sleeping bags out there. It's about trial and error. But if you're not costing a lot of money, it don't really matter, does it? Um, now, some people are going to say, well, you're, you're not spending a lot of money, but then that's, that's, that, that's foolish. Because if you like it, you've then got to spend a lot of money to replace the things you've already bought. Well, no, you haven't. These things I've shown you today, I've had them years. I've had them years. And Amazon still sell them. Oh, apart from that chair, that chair was new. But I had another chair like it, and it was... <laughs> I, was like, I think that was a fiver. Um, but I've had them years. Don't be fooled into spending a lot of money when you're just starting out. And once you've started out and you like it, don't be thinking, I've got to spend a lot more money to keep it going. Because you really, really haven't. Um, this cup, cheap shit from China. Have a look. Um, says UK, rubbish, cheap shit from China. Cheap, about a pound that was. This inflates me air bed up uh, in the summer. It's battery, what's the name? You've got eight batteries that, that do that. Really good, inflates everything really quickly. Uh, comes with these three nozzles for different size air beds, and it's brilliant. And because it's portable, if you're not camping near where your bed is, that's ideal. It's brilliant. And again, not a lot of money. I think that was about a tenner as well. Um, and when it comes to cooking, if you're using the transier stove, like that, obviously you want something to, um, you can't put a pot on that. You can't put your kettle on that. You can't put your pot on it because the flame will go out. Um, but I found this. I found, I think I've got... It come out of um, a little oven, but it's ideal. And quite no, I can't remember. It's so long that I can't remember. But that you can cook in that little transier sits underneath, and you can cook in that. And it's got a solid pan on it. I haven't used it for a while, so I haven't needed to. But again, that you can put your your kettle or something on that. That sits on the floor. Your transier stove sits underneath, so it's ideal. But these, I think these are about a pound. I can't remember. But again, no need to spend a lot of money. One thing I did do, made my own candle. Um, there's cardboard, just corrugated cardboard um, in there, and then I melted a candle and I put the candle wax in there. And that, I've, I've lit that about three or four times now, and it's, it's only just touched the surface. And it lets off so much light, it's really, really good. For such a small, you know, small item, it lets off a lot of light. And it's going to last a very long time. Also comes with a lid. This was an, it was a collar for me dog. 
Hang on, don't you get that? You get that? Yeah, it's a colour for me, it's a tick colour for me, dog. Um, but that costs a lot of money. The tin, the tin costs more than most of this put together. I think that'll do, that'll do, because that's half an hour of um, preaching to the righteous. Um, I'm going to do another video after this because I want to discuss another subject, so um, I might make myself another cup of tea. But until then, so tune in to the next video, it'll be something about something different. Um, we're going to go on to the technology side and the sat nav side and the apps and other stuff like that. We're going to have a little look at that. Um, I'm just going to revisit that because I've done that before. I'm going to revisit it, show you what I've done as an update, and, um, and I'll do it. So, for those that um, those of us, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned. There'll be more. It's good to be here. It's good to be now. It's nice to be here. And uh, yeah, stay good, stay clear of the learners, any of them that become one of them.